This is the hand crank generator I just finished in the shop. And it uses a Cruzette uh, gearhead uh, motor that's got a uh, 24 volt DC motor attached to a gearhead that does about 122.5 to 1 uh, gear reduction. Um, I made all this handles and the crank in the shop to attach it to this so I can crank it. Um, anyways, so I take the wires from the DC motor and then I run them into this um, electrolytic cap which is like uh, 10,000 microfarad 35 volt which um, I might have to beef that up to a higher voltage cap and then I run it into this DC DC converter which uh, bucks down to a regulated voltage which you control with this uh, potentiometer and what I did was I put a, a relay on the output so if the voltage on the input is below 17 volts I don't turn on the, uh, the buck converter output I uh, leave it disconnected so I use a couple of um, Zener diodes in series with the relay coil to do that. And anyway, so this will display the input voltage and output voltage depending on which of these switches you press while it's running. And this is not connected to a load right now, and I'll just start cranking the uh, handle around just very slowly, and you'll see you get up to 25, 28 volts pretty quickly, and I'm not cranking very fast. So, let me hook up a uh, load to it, and we'll uh, play with it from there. Alright, so this is the new Amazon Basics uh, 3 amp hour battery I just got. It's an ultra slim lithium polymer battery bank um, for charging cell phones. It has a built in cable to it, so you can connect it to your cell phone. And then you just plug in a micro USB to the side of it with a 5 volt power supply, and it will charge. So, what I have is the output of the regulator set to 5 volts, and um, it's just going to um, take what the input voltage is and buck it down. So let's start cranking away. I'm just barely cranking this thing. So you can see, we're taking a charge. And this thing takes about, I think, a 1 amp input or a 2 amp input? I'm not sure. But... Um, you can see the input voltage is, uh, and I'm just barely cranking this thing, probably um, you know, 1,000 to 1,000 to So about 20 RPM is all I'm cranking this thing to get this to charge this uh, cell phone battery. And we'll uh, switch to uh, the regulated output. That's what the regulated output voltage is. Switch it back to the input. So that cap holds a charge while uh, while uh, I'm switching between the voltages. So if I just let go of it, you can see the re output relay disconnects around 16 volts. So it draws it down and then slowly goes down from there. But I could set this up to, uh, say, charge a 12-volt battery if I wanted to. Uh, just change the regulated output voltage. So it's quite useful for uh, days when you don't have power and you don't have any other way to charge something. So it's a neat little uh, item for a prepper, I think. And uh, Anyways, I'm going to go through uh, the process of making all the pieces for the crank handle. And uh, if you want to stick around and watch that, please uh, do. And if not, thanks for watching. All right, so I want to make an adapter to make a crank handle for this uh, gearhead motor. And it's got an 8 millimeter shaft, so I can't just use a off-the-shelf bolt and drill the end of it out. So what I did was I got some of my bar stock. I have some T6061 aluminum bar stock. This is an inch and a quarter uh, piece of bar stock. And I've already faced one side of it, the side that I cut with the bandsaw, but the um, metal shop also uses a bandsaw to cut it. So I'm going to face this side of it, and I'll show you what I'm going to do with that one next. So I have it all chucked up in the uh, lathe here. I'm going to give it a little squirt of WD-40. That's what I use for cutting fluid. It works for, for me for everything. Um, I'm going to turn the lathe on. 
And to face it, I'm just going to run a, a tool across the surface of it. So. some blue on the surface of it which I want to get rid of so I'm going to run it back across it one more time I'll take all the cuttings away you can see this is what a nice face looks like on it next thing we're going to do is we're going to drill holes in this uh, piece of bar stock so that we can put the motor into it. So I'm going to remove this uh, tool holder and put the drilling fixture on here. So first thing I want to find out is how big the shaft is. And it's about 327 in mils. Uh, let's go back to millimeters real quick. And it's an 8 millimeter shaft. So I'm going to find a drill bit for that. and. Uh, drill that bar stock with it. So now I put the drilling fixture on my uh, lathe and uh, I'm going to drill a little guide hole here for the um to set up the 8 millimeter bit. I have a slight problem with this uh, tool holder because it's not long enough on my bed so I have to start this manually. stock that I drilled the 8 millimeter hole in and um, you can see it fits the uh, shaft of the motor pretty good. Next thing I need to do is actually drill a hole on the back side here because we're going to put a, a quarter 20 uh, bolt to hold it onto the crank handle and then I'm going to have to drill a hole into this to uh, put a set screw so it sits on the flat of the uh, gearhead uh, output and then we can just crank it down so let's do that next so for a quarter inch 20 uh, we're gonna need a uh, 1364 drill bit which measures about um, 205 that way the thread will be nice and tight uh, when we go to tap it 
So I'm going to go ahead and drill that into the bar stock on the other side now. So, as always, I start with a little squirt of WD-40 for my cutting fluid. And uh, I'm going to turn on the lathe here. So I finished drilling that hole for the quarter 20 bolt and you can see I drilled it through the shaft so next thing we'll do is we'll thread this one for a quarter 20 and then we'll drill a hole through here to uh, make the set screw for the output shaft. So this is a quarter 20 tap and trusty WD-40, squirt it down the hole and stick the tap in and start twisting very slowly. And give it a little another squirt of WD-40 in there. If you ever fill it binding, you just back it off just a quarter turn. Um, you don't ever want your taps to bind because they'll end up twisting or breaking. So. Got to be uh, very filly on these things, is a good way to put it. Um, let's back that out. I'll probably use a quarter 20 uh, bolt for the set screw too, so. I'll drill that hole after this one. But as you can see, it's nicely. Well, I don't know if we can get a good focus on this. Yeah, there we go. You can see it's a nicely threaded hole for a quarter 20 bolt now. So this cool little fixture lets you uh, drill round stock, uh, keep a nice center on it. So I'm on the drill press and uh, we're going to stick the uh, crank handle adapter on and drill a uh, hole for the set screw. Right, a little squirt of WD-40 like always. And then we're going to turn this on and drill it. So you can see, we have a nice uh, hole drilled through the side that we're going to set the set screw into. And next thing I'm going to do is just tap it. I already showed you how to tap them, so I'm not going to film that one. So this is the uh, side that the crank handle is going to mount to. This is threaded for quarter 20. This is the set screw that will set on the flat of the output shaft of the gear head. And then that's the 8mm hole for the out output shaft. So next thing I'm going to do is make the handle that goes on this. So I had some bar stock that's uh, eighth inch thick uh, that had been cut before for the previous uh, crank handle. This is the remnant of it. Um, I think it's about maybe eight or ten inches long. 
And uh, this is going to make a perfect crank handle for this because I'm going to need a lot more torque. So to get a little leverage out of it, I want a little more length. So we'll put it on here, like so. And then we'll mount um, some a handle here. And um, that will be it. Went over to the belt sander and cleaned this up and rounded the corners off because I don't want sharp edges. And uh, I'm going to have to drill some holes here and here for the handle and the uh, bolt for the adapter here. For a while thinking about it, I think I'm going to make the uh, piece of this bar stock that I have, the inch and a quarter bar stock, as the crank handle. Um, probably cut it off about about right there and then I'll counter drill it so I can put a uh, bearing inside of it and uh, I'll go do that right now. So I cut off the uh, bar stock and then I center drilled the whole uh, piece of stock with a seven millimeter bit and then I threaded probably about two and a half three inches of it um, with a um, M8 by 1.25 millimeter tap and so what I plan on doing now is um, bolting this M8 bolt into the uh, handle with the two bearings here pinching against the uh, crank um, shaft or rod or whatever you want to call it and then that'll provide the rolling surface for when you're cranking it with your hands this has to be able to rotate and uh, we'll try that. Okay, so here it is put together. So here's the two bearings and uh, the handle. And I used uh, quarter inch 20 cap screws and two locking uh, washers here. So that this has a nice uh, grip onto this aluminum shaft. Here's the quarter inch 20 cap screw here for the, the um, set screw. And we're going to go up upstairs and test it out. 